What's up, YouTube? WK Dad Team DKF. At the conclusion of my video, please check out my blog. On the side there, I got a little squawk box. You can leave me a message. Um, I have about 40 something blog posts this year, so be sure you check that out. Also, uh, check out my website. Here we got the deck list compendium. Just about every deck I've ever posted on YouTube is on here. Uh, special shout out to uh, my webmasters, especially uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Deckmaster 41. Took the painstaking, went through the painstaking process of getting all these posted. Um, while I'm on here, want to apologize for a little flub I had yesterday with a double necroface and my My Little Pony Synchro. But as you can see on my website, we had it posted right. I just, I don't know, had an old man brain fart. But yeah, going all the way back to last year, the beginning of last year, I got that. <clears throat> You know all these decks so I think I'm probably the most published deck builder on YouTube <laughs> but yeah this is the main page um, all kind of things here there's a link to the deck list compendium upcoming products so you go there tells you about structure deck Merrick and etc etc so yeah be sure you hit that up um, the guys are doing a hell of a job getting that knocked out for me and um, to show your appreciate show uh, your appreciation by checking that out and uh, that mean a lot to me uh, I don't know if you guys remember our good friend David who collects triangle rares but I picked up a couple of triangle rares for him um, when you run into him tell him to update your dad uh, needs to give these to him and um, let him know that we're gonna start letting him post his deck list and his trade collection or his trade binders on the team channel. So that should be really interesting. <laughs> All right, the point of this video is gonna be an addendum to our tutorial to quick draw and quick draw plants. <clears throat> We're gonna be talking about the differences between standard quick draw and volcanic uh, decree builds. Um, standard, of course, runs a shitload of traps. Volcanic decree just runs mainly decrees. My good friend Pete Navarro piloted this build um, to a top at the YCS San Jose. Uh, shout out to him. Congrats to him for that. Um, as he says, this build takes a lot of balls because your protection is limited. You don't have the safety of the solemn warning, solemn, bottomless, uh, mirror force, torrential, etc., etc. You're just relying on purely outplaying your opponent. And while many people can do that, myself included, I draw so shitty, this is just not possible sometimes, so I need the backup. Uh, one build is not superior to the other. It depends on the player, depends on your play style. Um, like I said, I draw really shitty, and having this little security blanket um, helps a lot when I play. But the beauty of this deck is the plays you can make with quick draw. And it tends to focus more on quick draw. Um, let's say your hand consists of uh, four random cards plus these two. You can go off with quick draw by pitching shell special. Pay 500. Add a second shell. Normal summon. Uh, synchro. Send them to the grave. The drill warrior. Pay 500. Add a third shell to your hand. Pitch it. Remove this from play. Now your graveyard is four monsters deep, ready for one more monster for Pot of Avarice. Um, and as you can see, you know, you're thinning your deck two cards uh, really fast. Um, sets up your Pot of Avarice really fast in addition to your Ryko and Charge Light Brigade plays and your other Synchro plays. And that's part of the beauty of this deck. Um, not to mention the synergy this has with Glow Up Bulb and Formula Synchron. Um, imagine... Uh, dandelion in your graveyard and I'm sorry imagine a uh, glow bulb in your graveyard and you activate the effect by milling the top card oh look it's a shell pay 500 add one to your hand uh, maybe you can play one for one or whatever number normal summon your shell synchro this in a glow bulb let's say this is glow bulb for formula synchron draw a card and if you played one for one you know, Dish and Dandy, you can go into Armory Arm, 
um, any kind of things you can do, any number of things. You say you put a spore, you ditched uh, dandy with one for one, got spore, make another formation, you can draw. <laughs> Just a lot of broken things you can do um, with shell and one for one, glow up bulb and formula synchron. And uh, I believe that's what's going to make this deck shine. Um, other th differences um, in the two decks, like I said, the play style. If you're an extremely aggressive player, uh, the decree build is for you. If you're a controlling player, uh, then this build is more for you. I'm a control player, and that's not to say that this isn't a control deck. It's saying that um, you're playing a bit more reactive, and you're relying on your counter traps and other traps and whatnot to help push your plays through. Okay, so that's going to be the main differences. Now, the similarities. Now, they're all going to be running the same cards. You know, you got your Trimmer Drock, Dandelion, Titanial, you know, any number of Valor, Spore, um, Eason, Feason, whatever, two of those. Any number of Avarice, any number of Books, you know, any number of Rikos, etc. So, you know, they're essentially the same deck. Just uh, this uh, gives you a tad more space. You know, you're, you're cutting the... You know, three traps, so this leaves you any number of uh, spaces for tech cards. So, so you want to run Double Valor, you want to run Cyber Dragon, you want to run Nimble Hamster, you know, whatever. Um, you want to run Enemy Controllers, <clears throat> which is recommended because um, you're going to need Triple Book of Moon and maybe Enemy Controller to not only force your, pl uh, not only to uh, provide some defense, but with Enemy Controller, um, you can make plays like Setting a Shell, Enemy controller take their monster, play go up bulb, uh, synchro with their monster. Um, you got deadline token. You can econ take their monster. You know, uh, just all kind of crazy things you can do. Uh, Navarro told me of a play he did at the YCS uh, where he tributed a monster for Chaos, targeted their monster. They played Valor. He econed his Chaos and went to the grave. Chaos resolved because no longer in the field for Valor to target in the chain. Took their monster swing for game. Um, so that's the beauty of Econ and the Decree build. And if you want to force it in here, I guess you can. But, you know, the Triple Decree lineup allows for tech cards like that. Uh, now, finally, uh, I want to mention the straight Debris build, Debris Plants. This is the deck that won the YCS, uh, most recent YCS Philly. Uh, very solid deck. Uh, what's so great about this deck is it can do just about everything that these, this deck, these decks can, but it has space because you don't have to run, you're not running this, so you have two extra monster slots, and you have several slots in the extra deck because you're not forced to run Nitro, and Drill, and Destroyer, etc., etc., so you have anywhere from three to four extra slots in your extra deck, so you can run the Double Stardust, two or three um, um, Black Rose Dragons, you know. So that's the beauty of the Debris deck. <clears throat> I don't know how it won, because in my opinion, these decks are equally um, consistent, but, you know, the better player won, possibly. The better player with the better draws and the better luck won. Um, I'm a little sad, because this is my favorite deck, running my favorite monster, but you know, what can you say? So I hope this explained things. Um, at a future time, I'll probably get in more in depth about it, especially when the release of Glow Up Bold. But for now, uh, the next installment of the tutorial will be a hardest matchup against Black Wings. And as I said before, that's the harder, hardest matchup uh, that we have right now in the meta. So this is Dub K Dad. Remember to check out my website and my blog. And I'm out. Peace.